Okay, everybody, we're here with Carly, my daughter. We're going to be talking about the serve. And one of the questions we got on the website is, do we take uh, the serve? Is it proper to have a full backswing, kind of like the old school, or an abbreviated, kind of like you see more and more players do? And if you've been watching our videos, you know my style here is I believe it's very important to have proper technique, but I like to operate on the con concept of a range of acceptability. And I think that both of these fall in the range of acceptability. So you can see pros that do different things. Uh, there's definitely footage where you can see uh, Rafa Nadal, he's a lefty of course, but he doesn't go all the way back. He's kind of somewhat abbreviated. Andy, Andy uh, Roddick, one of the biggest servers, was abbreviated for sure. He just went straight up. And then you have the more traditional, which is how I was taught, which is a racket should go back and down, okay? As a matter of fact, I thought, I remember being told once that you never want to have your racket go this way because before it goes back that way, it has to stop and then you lose all your momentum. That was something I was told years and years ago. But now we know that that's not exactly what happens because players can go here and then just drop it behind their rack, their head and get a lot of power. So the quick answer is that they're both acceptable. As a coach, I've been trying to experiment with players because I like them to do whatever they normally feel comfortable doing. But I've been taking a lot of players who have a traditional full backswing, kind of like their racket back and down, palm down, and they get in the stagger position. I think both groups can do that. But the problem is uh, they have so many moving parts that sometimes just taking a player as an experiment and moving them from this full motion more into this abbreviated motion does help. So it's something that you can experiment with. But I'm not going to sit here and say one's wrong or one's bad. So I'm going to take a look at Carly's serve. Carly, I don't want you to even think about what you're doing. Just do what you normally do. Okay, so to me, Carly is more on the traditional line. Yeah, hit two or three balls and then stop, good. All right, so if you notice what Carly did there, um, she went back, palm here, uh, and it was definitely a full backswing. You can see, I'm gonna get behind her here, that her racket is following this path back behind her for sure. Now, one thing that I would recommend, and I'm gonna do this with Carly, because it's something that we've worked on, if you are going to take the racket back, I think it's important to keep your palm down, okay? Uh, you don't see the players that do take their racket back like this, they don't have their palm up. That could cause some problems with your shoulder. So palm down, very much like a pitcher would do it. A quarterback doesn't take the ball like this. He takes the ball, palm down, then he gets the nose pointing forward and he throws. So palm down is key. So go ahead, Car. You good? All right, good. So I'm going to show you the, the alternative. I'm going to show you both because I can do both. So one method, this is probably my normal serve, is I like to go back typically and then I have kind of a traditional. But the abbreviated is also acceptable. So I think that's the takeaway of this video is that you can try them both and I don't think it's fair to tell uh, uh, as a coach to tell somebody that's definitely wrong, especially when you see some of the best players in the world doing each option. So if that was my full, this would be my abbreviated swing. Straight up and hit. So notice the difference. I'll show them to you slowly. This one goes back. This one goes straight up. Kind of like a quarterback receiving the, the football. The first thing he does, straight to the ear. Okay, this is more like the preparation for an overhead. So again, and that's just the way to do it. So you have options there. Not one is right and the other is wrong. It could be both acceptable because in my opinion, these are both in the range of acceptability.